This is the GeoSketch Tools video for the RPC tools, which are new in GeoSketch 2.2, and they are an optional product. There are three icons in the RPC tools toolbar, and if you have very large RPC images, it may be better to view them with an external tool such as TacForge Pro, because the images may be too large to, f too large to fit in your SketchUp model. But if you don't have access to such a tool, there's an RPC browser which will allow you to look at sub-images. Uh, when you select an image, you're selecting the directory that it's in and the type of image that you want to read in. We have five NTF images here. So it tells us that we have five images. It tells us the size of the image that we selected. And it has some parameters for the size of sub-images, which will be read in. We'll take the defaults here, which will result in a sub-image size of one meg. So we can choose to render these vectors uh, by changing the edge color in the GeoSketch settings. And now we can see the groups of images by color. We have the blue images, which are close to Nader, and then we have cyan, green, and then the red and yellow images have low oblique angles. So if we put the cursor on any one of these vectors, it'll tell us the name of the sub-image that corresponds to that vector. And if we click on it, it will read it in as a Nader image. And also in our prompts, we see that if we Alt-click, it will load the image as an aux view. So we can click on that same vector and hold down Alt and click on it. And we have the option to specify the placement distance for that aux view. And now it read in the same image at its location as an auxiliary view. Now in addition to those options, we can read in a series of images. And this can be used to read in as much as the, of the large images as possible but you have to be careful that you don't try to read in too much data. If we sh shift click, it will bring it in by rows. So I might select the cyan vector, do a shift click, and it gives me a prompt to say, do I want to stop at the end of each row, which usually you do, otherwise you might load in too much data. So you set the yes and it'll load in one row of images. If you select yes again, it'll read, it, read in the next row. And if you want to stop, you select cancel. And then of course you can use the uh, undo to remove those images. And then rather than reading it in by rows, you can also read it in by columns using the control key. I select the yellow vector. And in this case, I know that all the images will fit in the model, so I'll say no, and it will read in all of the images. And you should also take care, once you identify an area of the model that you want to use to uh, construct your geometry, you should start a new model and just read that in close to the SketchUp origin so that you do not have inaccuracy problems by working far away from the origin. Now, in most cases, you'll want to read in a Nader image for context, and you can use an RPC image uh, as though it's a Nader image. When you have the RPC tools, the na import Nader will allow you to read an RPC image. In this case, I'll select this image, and until I have georeference information loaded, uh, I can only image, import images using image parameters. So I'll say yes. It tells me the size of that image, and by default, it's going to load in the entire image. But in the case of a large, large images, you won't be able to read in the whole thing. So I'm going to go to a smaller image size of 1024 by 1024. When I click OK, it'll recalculate the sub image size. It's one meg because it only has one band, it's a black and white image. I select OK it'll read in that image and geolocate it. Now that it's geolocated, I have more options for reading in Nader sub-images. I can just define a rectangle and it'll tell me the size of the image resulting from that rectangle. And when I click OK, it'll read that in. And you can do continue to do overlapping rectangles. And you also have the ability to import by geographic parameters. It's tracking the lat long with the cursor as I move the cursor around. And when I hit the shift key, it will load in for the lat long that where the cursor was placed. And I have the ability to edit those lat long coordinates here. And also to edit the width and height of the image, which are now in model units of length. So I can say that I want it to be 500 feet by 700 feet. And it will recalculate the image size and read in that sub-image where I had the cursor. And when I hit the tab key, it'll give me a summary of all the sub-images I have and their total size. 
Now we also have the ability to read in these images as a aux view. So I can do that. Now since these images are black and white, I'm going to change the GeoSketch settings to set the drawing color instead of black, which will be hard to see. I'll choose a color of gold. And now I can read in an aux view from any of those oblique images. And I just digitize a rectangle in my nadir view and I get to specify the placement distance for that aux view and it brings an aux view that views that location in the image. Now there's a more convenient way to read in multiple images. Again, I'll start with a new model and I'll read in that nadir image and just use a subset of it, 1024 by 1024 which is a 1 meg image. And now I create a volume of interest around this building. So I use the standard volume of interest tool. Click in the center. I'll just make it a square volume of interest. And now that I have the volume of interest defined, I use the RPC focus volume of interest, which will bring in all the RPC images that view that uh, image. It'll tell us each of their sizes and the total size before reading in the sub-images. And then once I click OK, it brings in all of the sub-images that saw that area that I specified for my volume of interest. Now that I have those aux views, this nadir view is just here for context, so I will probably want to delete that since a RPC image read in as a nadir image probably will not be lined up correctly. So now that I have the aux views, I can use the standard GeoSketch tools to con construct geometry from them. And also, as each of these sub-images is stored in a directory called sub-images and you can use the um, explore option on that folder in order to clean up the contents of that folder. Select the images that you no longer require and delete them. So that completes the RPC tools.